How to Overcome Deadly Sin of Lust The most deadly disease today in whole world is disastrous and has no cure. The faster killer disease is not Ebola disease, neither AIDS. Although most of us thought Ebola, a newly resurfaced deadly disease, whose rate of transmission has been regarded as the most susceptible one in the history of mankind because of its mode of transmission. It can be transmitted to another victims by an inter-exchange of mucus or sweat gland of the body. While some believe it can be transmitted through handshake. They had gone all the way, wearing hands glove going to their business and offices. All for the sake of seeking for protection. While medical expertise, also believe that, the virus affection can be transmitted through eating of meat. Many now find it very difficult to greet their fellow brethren. Because it has been estimated that the virus only takes about 21 days to kill off his victim. The deadly sin of lust. Many believers across the globe, are yet to understand the major problem and deadly sinful disease facing the Christendom today. Some believe in physical appealing, having their judgment based on sight. Most of them are already dead in spirit. Most of those that profess themselves as Christian are working core. Waiting for their day of burial. They refuse to seek after the things of the spirit. The power of physical and worldly fear had erupted and taking over their Christian faith. They are engrossed after the things of the world. They reworking after sight. Most of them had lost focus and backslide from faith, due to small trials of faith. And most of those trials are based on temptations. As a Christian, it's a mandate that all shall face temptation. But the Lord has made us a promise that he will not allow the temptation, that we wouldn't be able to carry to overwhelm us. It's also reminded us that, if any man been tempted, let him not say, he was tempted by God. God doesn't he tempt any man but is only when our personal heart desire or feels are engrossed and been enticed with things of the world. It's resulted into temptation which will eventually leads to sin. And such enticement are the manipulation from ancient demonic evil spirit, sent on assignment for the purpose of wreaking down highly committed believers and causing him slash her to backslide from faith. Therefore, from this fact, we shall be considering the easiest and attractive form of enticement, which the demons are very conversant in using against believers in church and among brethren, which is called lust. James 1, 1315 Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man, but every man is tempted, when he is drawn away of his own lust, and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death the Almighty God who searched the innermost parts of human heart, can easily identify the spirit of lust in your heart, whether the lustful sin be visible or not. God will definitely judge any person who dies with the spirit of lust in his slash her heart. No lustful person can enter heaven even with the slightest element of lust. The sin of lust was first originated from the Garden of Eden. Eve heart was enticed for the purpose of wisdom. She craved for knowledge, as a result, her heart got lusted over her desire for wisdom, which eventually leads to the falls of men. And yet, many Christian are been posses by the same demonic spirit if enticement, causing them to lust after worldly things that perished without knowing they are been trapped by deadly sin of lust. Lust for people, lust for tangibles and intangibles. Lust is a great, strong, ungodly, self-indulgent desire or craving for something or for someone. Lust is a disease of the heart and incubates very well in the mind before it acts out itself. Most sins may not be sins until they are visibly displayed. But lust is different. It is a sin even in its invisible state. Lust knows no moderation, modesty, or self-control. Lust breeds vanity, vanity leads to death. Lust drove King David into covetousness, murder, and adultery. Lust for money drove Judas to betray his Savior and Master Jesus, and he lost his soul forever. Lust drove Samson to sell his destiny to a seductress. Lust is deadly, a fast killer, a destroyer of destinies and a destroyer of unborn generations. 
the Israelite were severely punished for their lusts at various times. Lust has disgraced lots of world leaders and brought several families and nations to penury. Please note, the spirit of lust is a very patient spirit, it could walk away for a while and suddenly show up again when you have let down all your guards and are no longer as watchful and careful as you used to be. If we do not arrest the spirit of lust in time, and on a daily basis, it will put us, our ministry and our children in shame. The Multiple's Birth of Lust Lust has yielded into different kinds of evil and wickedness among the brethren and in the church. There now exist covetousness, stealing, murder, deceit, embezzlement, hatred, jealousy, adultery, fornication, sexual perversions, pornography, greed, wild ungodly imaginations, masturbation, anger, self-idolatry, extravagant spending, financial imprudence and irresponsibility, betrayal, sycophancy, false witnessing, crush, the temporary love feeling of most adolescents, building castles in the air, extravagant lifestyle, worship of demons for power, wealth, or fame, lying, bribery, slandering, prostitution, online and offline, wild partying, indecent dressing, tattooing, extravagant bodily adornment, self-abasement, loss of self-esteem and dignity, this is especially connected to lust for people, the lust victims act stupid and without self-respect, idolatry, cosmetic surgeries for beautification, body parts modification and enhancement, homosexuality, gender transformation, transgender, polygamy, polyandry, pedophilia, incest, armed robbery, kidnapping, violence. Taking the glory for other people's work and achievements, borrowing and refusing to pay back, evading taxes, cheating, using fraudulent measurements, deliberately owing and delaying staff salaries, breaking covenants, agreements, and vows, gluttony, oppression. Things people lust after. People have mortgaged their children's future and sold their destinies because of lust for a person or lust for the things in this world. Certain things are no longer bought for their utility and durability, they are now being bought to fulfill fleshly lusts to show off wealth, position, power, and influence. Lusts range from lust for shoes, for cars, for jewelries, for bags, for clothes, for computer gadgets, for position, for titles, for fame, for respect from others, for achievement in order to show off to friends and former schoolmates, for designer items, to even lust for food. When people are not content with just having the basics in quality and in quantity, they crave for so much more to fuel their lust for respect, power, and influence. Those who lust for cars are not satisfied with just one or two, they want a whole garage of ten or more exotic cars. They wildly imagine that they could get cars manufactured from out of this world. Houses are now being built on the sea, the dry land seems too ordinary and cheap for them. People now take huge bank loans to organize flamboyant weddings or to travel overseas on vacation. Their lust drives them into the wildest of imaginations. Others because of lust for fame may imagine organizing their wedding in the sky or at the cliff of the tallest height in the world. Lust is a wild eater and eats anything and everything that comes its way. The media, television, radio, advertisements, and internet, have also been used as a channel through which the spirit of lust can easily communicate with its victims. Young people are no longer interested in formal education because they are continually fed with the extravagant lifestyles of entertainers and television celebrities. Most youths nurse the secret strong desire of becoming very wealthy and famous in order to live out such lifestyles too. The media makes them believe that all the wealth can be found in football, music, acting, Satanism, various forms of entertainment, etc. So, they are most times, glued to television, especially satellite TV, and the internet watching the extravagant lifestyles of these celebrities. It is either they fulfill their lust by stealing, by cheating, or even by killing to get the resources required. They are slowly indoctrinated with the get rich quick, why sweat and get stressed, operation quick quick philosophies. 
Almost everything you watch on through the various media forms is born out of someone's lust and will definitely breed lust in the viewers and hearers. Even some so-called Christian programs are not left out, because all they talk about is prosperity, fame, and world influence. Most gospel preachers started as not too wealthy holiness preachers but when money began to come in, the holiness messages flew through the window and gave way for only prosperity, faith, and world influence messages. They have totally forgotten about the rapture, about holiness, about the coming judgments of God upon this sinful world, about the reality of heaven and hell. Some people are busy having crushes for their bosses or subordinates instead of concentrating on their assigned duties. Others are busy lusting after their pastors, church leaders, or church members who, more often than not, may be married. Many others are having secret crushes for their neighbors, classmates, or even domestic staff. Adultery and fornication have become the order of the day. Half-naked dressing is the most common uniform of almost every youth. Lust has driven many marriages out of order and into divorce. Broken homes, broken individuals, broken societies, and broken nations abound because of lust. Lust has destroyed the future of so many children and so many nations because their parents and leaders spent every dime chasing after and fulfilling their own personal lusts. How can we overcome the deadly sin of lust? How can we fight and overcome this deadly spirit that seems to plague almost every living soul walking on the earth? Please note, television, other items, and other people are not the problem, the problem is you, but you need to save yourself from yourself by making a conscious effort to avoid certain things and certain people if you must overcome this spirit. 1. Realizing You must realize that lust is the most deadly disease, the fastest killer ever and can easily lead you to death poverty, or other forms of shame on earth, and eternal death in hell in the life after. Your future and the future of your unborn generations are at stake. Your decision today will definitely affect millions of souls tomorrow. Realize also, that even though lust is incubated in the mind where no one else can see, God Almighty who searches the innermost parts of the heart can easily identify the spirit of lust in a person's heart whether you have committed a visible sin or not. God will definitely judge any person who dies with the spirit of lust in his slash her heart. No lustful person can enter heaven even with the slightest element of lust. So, now is the time to deal with that wicked spirit, not only by running away from things and people but first of all, by dealing with your heart. Cry out to the Lord Jesus for sanctification and purification of your heart. To totally stop. Ceased from watching television for a while, maybe one year, it depends on you and how desperately you want to save yourself, except when you need to slot in a true gospel DVD to watch. This just has to be the first step because most of the lust is born out of what we watch or hear others do or display and the television is the most favorite tool of the spirit of lust. Especially those that found themselves lusted and trapped under the yoke of demonic cage of lesbianism and masturbation. You need to escape for your life, from any forms of viewing of immoralities and otherwise. 3. Disciplined When surfing the internet, you must be disciplined. If you have a problem being disciplined when on the internet, then totally avoid the internet too for a while until you have dealt with the lust in your heart. Internet today is a gigantic library where all forms of immoralities, wickedness, and corruptible messages and evil news, whose defile and pollutes heart now abound and also spending your television and radio time reading your Bible instead. You must be serious disciplined if you really want to overcome this demonic evil spirit. 4. Total Discharged Disposed off, every forms of CD or DVD or magazine that is capable of fueling your lust for things or for people, and instead channel that money into buying evangelism tracks for distribution. This was one of the greatest step I took some few years back. When I read the divine revelation of Brother Eubany Kingsley, the Lord was not happy with the kinds of evil odor that proceeded from his CD player when he visited him in his room. Brother Eubany Kingsley, another warning was accommodating some forms of worldly films that didn't he play any part toward God's glory. And after reading that divine revelation, I took the courage of burning off all the whole worldly movie in my disposal. Praise the Lord. 
5. Economics Before you set out shopping, determine exactly what you want and determine exactly how much you want to spend and stick to your plans and budget. If you do not have a specific need or you have not yet determined your specifications and budget, please do not just walk into a shop and say, let me just look around, when I see what I want, I will know it and pay for it. This will lead you into penury in no time. Window shopping is a high breeder of lust. It is a deadly seducer, avoid it. 6. Credit Like a plague, avoid those who are willing to sell things to you on credit. Credit sales lead to bankruptcy, excessive owing, slavery and poverty. The sellers are not the problem, you are the problem but you need to save yourself from yourself by avoiding such credit and its sellers. Proverb 22 7 The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. 7. Comparison Stop comparing your life and achievements with others. Always realize that people never tell the full story and true of how they got what they had. Some paid very costly prices, whether good or bad, that you may never be capable of paying. Also, your purpose in life is not the same as that of anyone else. On Judgment Day, you will not be compared with anyone, you will stand alone and answer for yourself, your achievements or fruits will only be compared with the resources and talents that God gave to you for your use. So, why compete with anyone else? 7. Observing Monitor what your children watch on television. Restrict them to educational and soul-building programs only. I have personally refused my younger siblings access to satellite television. They have their own TV set and can only watch DVD which I brought for them. As such, our children are not violent, stubborn, abusive, or greedy, yet they have very lively personalities and great self-esteem, this is not to say that they are in any way perfect. 8. Seminars Be very careful of the kinds of seminars you attend or social gathering. Most of the seminars and motivational speeches offered around will breed lust. Be watchful and careful. 9. Social Media Facebook and YouTube are other channels through which lust is easily bred, because people are busy posting pictures, videos, and stories of their extravagant lifestyles. Be very careful and be wise enough to limit yourself to only beneficial activities and pages on the internet. If you spend all your time going through your news feed, you will surely backslide in no time and end up spiritually dead. Before sending any friend request to anyone, first screen his slash her walls, and see the kinds post or update is thrilling in his walls. Spy his slash her pictures, because they speaks louder than voice, before sending any request. And also join benefiting groups and pages that portrait the evidence of Christ-like and teaches edifying words of salvation, not worldly discussion that can t add any valor, growth, or impact in your spiritual life. You are warned, be very, very careful. 10. Lusting after a person If you are lusting after a person and sincerely want to be free from this evil feeling, run to God and cry out to Him. Confess every detail of how you feel to your Savior and Creator. Be sincere and totally open with the Lord. Repent of your sin before the Lord. Fasting will really help you easily connect with the Lord. Stay in the presence of the Lord until He performs that spiritual surgical operation on your heart called sanctification. Because lust is deadly and can cause you shame and embarrassment, you must act desperate and persistent before the Lord. 11. Recreation or Lecture Time Spend all your free time studying God's Word, reading, or listening to soul-saving messages. Not checking news feed on Facebook or tweets on Twitter. But always be mindful of where you want to spend eternity. Use this hour, meditating the words of God and viewing yourself going passing through the gate of heaven and making it at last. Let your vision sight and seeing heaven in view during those of your lecture times. 12. Wrong Place Avoid places, music, people, and anything that easily fuels your thoughts of lust for that person. If it is possible, totally avoid that person you are lusting after until you have dealt with your heart. It's better to end up in heaven with half body rather than your whole body burning hell for eternity. Conclusion 
you are the best advisor to yourself, counsel and learn to talk to yourself and advise yourself regularly, exercise self-control, be disciplined, fear God, remember heaven and hell, think rapture, think holiness and purity of heart always, be content, love and follow peace with all people, but lust after none. Build treasures in heaven. Set your mind on things above. Run to the Lord for frequent purification of your heart through prayer and His holy word. Ezekiel 36 25 Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean, from all your filthiness, and from all your idols, will I cleanse you. Deuteronomy 36 And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. Now godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, gentleness. 1 Timothy 6,6-11 Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. 1 John 2 15-17 Adulterers and Adulteresses Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealously, James 4,4-5, now these things became our examples, to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. 1 Corinthians 10 colon 6, 14, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth, and put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead, and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet, and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left, remove your foot from evil. Proverb 4,23-27 But this I say, brethren, the time is short, so that from now on even those who have wives should be as though they had none, those who weep as though they did not weep, those who rejoice as though they did not rejoice, those who buy as though they did not possess, and those who use this world as not misusing it. For the form of this world is passing away. 1 Corinthians 7 29 31 But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish, than for your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish, than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Matthew 5 28 30 As obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lusts, as in your ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. 1 Peter 1 14 16. I have made a covenant with my eyes, why then should I look upon a young woman? Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things, and revive me in your way. Job 31 1 I made a covenant with mine eyes, why then should I think upon a maid? Psalms 1 37 Turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Psalm 139, 23-24 Search me, O God, and know my heart, try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, 
and lead me in the way everlasting. Search me O God and know my heart, try me and know my anxieties, and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting in Jesus' name.